Hello and welcome to the world of robotics. Robotics is an interdisciplinary field that brings together engineering and computer science. It involves the design, construction, operation and application of robots to help assist humans in various industries and also in our daily life. In this video, we will discuss the roles of robots in today's world and get to know the basic elements of a robotic system. But before we start, it's important to know what a robot is first. Here is a simple question. Which of the following do you think are robots? Did you select the following? If you did, that's correct. These are what we considered as robots, the others are not. So, what exactly is a robot? The term robot comes from a Czech word robota, which means forced labor. The word robot first appeared in 1921 in a play Rosam's Universal Robots by Czech writer Karel Kapik. The definition of a robot has changed over time. In the past, a robot was just a clever mechanical device. The robots we have today are more advanced and sophisticated. Until today, there is no standard definition for a robot, but we can refer to Maja Metallic's definition to help us understand what is and what is not a robot. A robot is an autonomous system which exists in the physical world, can sense its environment and can act on it to achieve some goals. Or in other words, a robot is a programmable machine that can sense, think and act to achieve a goal. It has sensors to receive inputs from its environment, a controller to process that information and make decisions, and actuators to carry out instructions. Nowadays, robots are widely used in many industries such as automotive, electronic manufacturing, agriculture, healthcare, and so on. Robots can perform many tasks for us, unlike human workers. Robots do not get tired, sick, or sleepy. Robots also do not get bored doing the same thing over and over again. They can perform high precision tasks with speed and accuracy. And most important of all, robots can carry out dangerous tasks and work in environments where humans cannot, for example, underwater or in outer space. So, do you know what are the basic elements of a robotic system? To make a robot, we need four main components. A controller, sensors, actuators, and a power supply. The controller is like the brain of a robotic system. It receives inputs, processes the information, and acts on it. Arduino Uno and Microbit are two of the most common controllers used by students to build robotics projects. A sensor element is a device that can detect changes in the physical environment, such as light, heat, pressure, humidity, distance, and so on. All input changes will be sent to the controller to be processed and converted to the desired output. For example, if a light sensor detects that the environment is dark or dim, it will send signals to the controller, and the controller will process that info and turn on the lights in response. Here is another example. An ultrasonic sensor can detect the position of an object within a certain distance from the sensor. If the object is too close to the sensor, signals will be sent to the controller to take action, such as sounding the alarm. Also, we have movement elements or actuators. Servo motors and DC motors are two common examples. They enable a robot to perform various movements. For example, turning the robot's wheels or rotating the joints of a robot arm. Lastly, we need a power supply such as 
batteries to power up a robotic system. Without a power supply, a robot cannot function. Let's put them together and build your own robot car, Zombit. Zombit is a mobile robot that you can build and program to sense and respond to inputs from its environment. You can program it using Microsoft Make Code Editor. It allows you to easily build your code using the drag and drop method. For example, you can program Zombit to turn on its headlights when it gets dark, avoid obstacles, follow a line, and etc. Zombit has all the basic elements of a robotic system. It uses Rekabit board together with Microbit as the controller. It has many different sensors such as ultrasonic sensor, maker line sensor, and other built-in sensor on the microbit. For example, light sensor, touch sensor, sound sensor, and many more. Zombit has two types of actuators, servo motor and DC motors. The servo motor enables it to turn its head 180 degrees, while DC motors rotate the wheels and enable Zombit to move straight, reverse, turn left, and turn right. Zombit is powered using four AA batteries. Zombit can be programmed to perform many tasks. It can display text and images, produce melodies, turn on its headlights, move around, give light signals, turn its head, avoid obstacles, follow a line, and so on. So, are you ready? Let's get started building and programming Zombit.